the scanning technique for the spleen in lateral recumbent canine patients. For this technique, place the patient in right lateral recumbency with their feet directed towards the sonographer. This position will allow one other person to have control of the patient's front and hind limbs. For this ultrasound, separate images and clips will be acquired for the splenic head, body, and tail. For long axis images of the splenic head, place the transducer marker cranially and dorsally in the left upper quadrant. Direct the zoom beam towards the left lateral side of the abdomen. The splenic head will be visualized as a triangular soft tissue opacity. In this view, the fundus of the stomach can be used as a regional anatomical landmark. It is important to use enough depth with the objective of covering about 75% of the total scan field of view with the organ of interest. Now slide the transducer caudally to evaluate the splenic body using a fanning motion until the left kidney is reached. Continue ventrally following the splenic parenchyma until it disappears from view. Return to the area of the splenic head. In the short axis plane, continue sliding the transducer caudally until the entire parenchyma is covered. Ensure the transducer is pointed to the patient's right side. For transverse videos of the hilum, using Doppler will be favorable. Ensure to adjust the Doppler settings as necessary. Obtain static images of the splenic head, body, and tail.